Okay, this is Aaron again with Exalted Lamb 1, and I'm going to be doing a qu very quick video in between my When is 923 Part 2 and Part 3. I've decided to put this one up. Um, it was really strong on my heart the last couple of days, and I've been putting this stuff together since this thing was uploaded on uh, November 9th, and it's pretty crazy. I could not believe this was in my um, uh, you know recommended area for YouTube. And as soon as it came up, I was just like, oh my goodness. I ended up looking at it, watching this little video, the little promo on Black Friday, and I could not believe all the Gematria stuff in it. I immediately went right to Gematria stuff, and there was a definitely a clear message in this and in the imagery as well. It was pretty shocking in a way. So um, it really supports what I'm talking about as well. So I'm going to play this uh, little clip here first and then go through it. Um, and I'm, you know, taking advantage of the Fair Use Act where, you know, I'm not selling anything. Or I, this is all by free of charge and it's just teaching um, what's coming. So here we go. I'm going to play this video first. The deals have... The deals have... Yeah, this is really crazy. This whole thing is just, it's mind-blowing. I immediately saw several things in this thing, um, and I want to go through that with you. But first, on this video, I want to show you something in the beginning here. So let me go back to it, um, right in about here. So immediately, I noticed the way his arms are, they're kind of how, you know, in the position of, you know, Christ's crucifixion, as everybody knows. Um, and immediately, I thought... The way these guys are standing and stuff too, kind of, they're really stiff and things too. And I was thinking, it just hit me like, uh, you know, Christians being killed possibly. Um, and look like maybe they're just like positioned like they're laying down right there. You know, like, it's just weird. Um, it It's, to me, it speaks in volumes um, of something, uh, death basically, and the, like basically killing Christians with this crucifixion, um, using Jesus' position as an example. And then the guy jumps up, and then you listen as he jumps up. It says deals have, and then dropped, and he hits the floor, and you hear this explosion sound. Here we go. The deals have. The deals have. The deals have dropped. dropped. So there is an explosion when the drop happens, and it reminds me, of course, of a bomb dropping. Of course, that's what this is all showing. So there's so much in this, and I'm going to go through it in a second. Um, but, you know, this is, uh, there's a lot of symbolism in all this, uh, of course. Um, and, and immediately, if you think of light it up, um, I asked a couple people um, today, when I say light it up, what do you think of? And they immediately say, like, fire, like you're, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're setting something ablaze or something, light it up. And so it's just a this it's in your subconscious that you know light it up would be something to you know catch on fire or you know that kind of thing. So, but then they're using lights and stuff instead. It's not that you couldn't use it that way as far as lights, but it, it's this other meaning that is you know they're meaning to use. So um, let me get into this, and I'm going to go into my little slideshow here. Okay, so. Um, immediately light up Black Friday, it was uploaded on, when I first saw it, it was November 9th, 2018, of course. And so, as you if you may have noticed already, if you watch some of my videos, 11-9 is 9-11 backwards, 
plus right here if you go 9 and then plus 2018 if you get rid of the 0 add 2 plus 1 plus 8 is 11 so it's 11 9 11 or 9 11 backwards and then 9 11 again it's just it's very crazy all this stuff or 9 2 is also you know the same thing 11 1 1 is 2 so it's 9 2 and then of course you've got plus 13 days it says 11 22 11 22 you know, you can go back and check that out, video out again and go backwards here on this video. Um, but that's Black Friday. Okay, but it will be, sh uh, you know, starting early on, you know, Thanksgiving like a lot of things do. But here we go, 11.22. And 11.22, 22, of course, is 11 plus 11. So we're talking 11, 11, 11. So this is big for them. There's a lot going on with this whole thing, um, with th all this messaging, Okay. Um, I want to also bring in here um, another stock market thing. Again, I've mentioned it in my videos before, but this keeps happening. We just had another big drop of the Dow, one of the largest in history, actually, um, of 602 points in the Dow, <clears throat> and there's some in the NASDAQ and everything. And as you notice here, right here, you have um, 6 is 9, and you have 2, and then you have 6, which is 9, 3. Six, nine. It's just crazy, 9, 2, and 3. I mean, you could just look at some of this right here just off the bat. Um, but if you do what I've done in past ones, almost every single one you can do this to, and I've shown this before, look at my previous videos on this with the countdown and all that stuff. Um, but look, you have, when you total these two columns up on the right, you have 9.56 and on the left, you had 871.28. Well, what does that mean? Well, when you add these up in a sense, uh, in different ways, you get, 871.28 is 8 plus 7 plus 1 plus 2 plus 8 is 26. And then, of course, 9 and, the, you know, the point right here acts like a forward slash. And then 5 plus 6 is 11. So 9, 11. And then what's 26? It's 9, 2. Back, it's 26 is 26 is 9, 2, which also is 9, 11. 26 is backward, upside down and backwards. 9, 2, which is also 9, 11. So you have these two right here. 9-2 and 9-11, which is the same thing, really. Isn't this crazy? I mean, are you seeing all this? I, I am blown away by all these things and how they can get away with this. I think people should be able to see this, especially after I've shown this so many times. I mean, at some point, you know, this can't keep working out unless it's completely planned. Okay, back to the video. So she first says the deals have, the deals have, the deals have, you know... She said it several times, and the repeated things are what their main messaging is. Immediately, I noticed that. The deals have, the deals have, right? And it's 660 in English Gematria. Again, if you don't know my videos, or maybe this is the first one you're watching, Gematria is originally how our languages were built on numbers. Uh, Jewish Gematria, based on Hebrew language. Greek Gematria, English Gematria, based on the English language. Um, and the numbers that you know each letter equates to a number there's simple gematria and then there's actual the full gematria so in this situation the deals have which is 660 and you can see how they each number letter shakes out as far as numbers right up here above her head and then down here guess what the deals have is equal to in 660 english gematria is 911 are you kidding me i just showed you 911 and 92 in that stock market thing as well and then it also is equal to martial law, which is not a coincidence when it comes to Walmart and what a lot of people have said about Walmarts and being FEMA, possibly FEMA camps and processing centers and all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's just, it's nuts. This is nuts. Okay. And then look at her face. Okay. So she is a black woman um, and, you know, kind of representing, like I've said many times, there's a lot of things that represent the Antichrist. And so you have a black woman kind of representing maybe the effeminist, effeminate of Barack Obama. And then you have, look at that purple. Remember I was talking about the purple right here. There's a purple glasses. So it's just, it's bizarre. This is so bizarre stuff. It just, this stuff keeps popping up. This purple and this, uh, this date. And again, it represents with these tsunamis that are going to happen on the West Coast and East Coast, it represents the water breaking of the birth of the Antichrist, which I believe, like I said, and I have lots of evidence of that's Barack Obama. So 
and he is the Antichrist. So here we go. But next to the next, on to the next one here. And then it says the countdown is on. And this guy is doing like a countdown thing with his clock, with his arms. There's something in here. I haven't spent the time to really think about it too much, but there's something in here. First, hit, both arms are at 12 o'clock midnight, which typically midnight is like, you know, the, you know, it's the basically end of the world kind of symbolism of midnight, 12 midnight. Um, you know, we have this countdown clock, uh, you know, a couple of minutes to midnight and that kind of stuff. So, and then it goes to like a little after two and then right here, it's a little after, uh, four and then it goes to six and they say, oh, it's 6 PM, you know, 11, 22 or 6 PM is when this sale starts. So there's something going on there. But if you do a Gematria, English Gematria on the countdown is on 1314, um, or 1314, it's equal to the second coming of Christ, also the One World Trade Center. And so second coming of Christ, I've talked about this, this, you know, this um, attack is going to, right around this time, is going to cause, you know, people taken from harm, especially the, the you know, the little ones, the innocent ones, the little children will be taken out of the harm's way. Um, to start the tribulation and I believe that's part of the rapture that's going to happen plus the bride Will be raptured as well at some point whether it's right away or just after or something But I believe the innocence will be taken right away um, And I'm not getting into all that right now And then one world trade center is basically the path that the wave will hit it will hit New York We've seen so many times how a big wave hits the Statue of Liberty and just down from a little ways off Manhattan Island is you know, one World Trade Center, so it's going to get hit as well. And this is all their plan, and they use it in symbolism everywhere. So this is really crazy. And then you have 1122, 1122, you know. And then right here, it's 18 is 9, and then you have over here 11, but then you also have, like I said, 11, and then 22 is 11 plus 11. There's just so much going on here. And then they say it as 1122, 1122, right? And so that's 1368 in English Gematria, and it just so happens to match United States of America, because that's where the attack's going to happen, and the United States of America, it's pretty crazy. Um, so that is, this is, whole thing is a message, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to sit each part in just a second here, but I'm getting the sections here. And then, Light Up Black Friday, of course, is in English Gematria 1110. And again, you've got the ones here again. It's almost like 11, 11 is overlapped. So it's 1, 1, 1, and then they don't count zeros when they're adding up stuff. So, But that's not a coincidence either. Um, and it uh, look at what it equals. It's equal to the same number uh, equivalent to November 11th in English Gematria. November 11th, 11, 11? Which is 1, 1, 1, 0? I mean, what? It also is equivalent to Donald John Trump. And I've been seeing a lot of his name um, in this Gematria stuff and all these different things in media and stuff. So it's very possible something could happen to Donald Trump on that day or very close to it. Um, he could be assassinated or something like that, even though he's part of it, I believe. Um, and they may fake it or something or who knows. May, he has some kind of deal. Who knows what the deal is. Um, and then here again, World Trade Center. The other one was one World Trade Center, which is what it's technically called now. But here we got one, uh, we got we have one uh, World Trade Center again. That's not a coincidence. These things are not coincidence when they keep going in circles and going back to the same numbers and names. You know, th th we're talking about really uh, freaky numbers here, numbers that are impossible unless they're designed. This is this is all designed by de demonic intelligence. Um, to figure this all out, to make this all line up. And then we have stock market crash, which it would if we had a massive hit, um, you know, on a weekday, it would cause the stock market to crash if it was early enough. And this would be early in the morning um, on uh, that that Friday, okay? So it would be the evening of Thursday, the 21st, which I've talked about, um, on Hawaii, and then it would be 3 a.m. after 3 a.m. sometime, maybe 3.11, we're not sure, after 3 a.m. on East Coast time on 11.22. It, this is just crazy. And then on the bottom here, another one that matches is crazy, California annihilated, which would happen when this um, big, huge tsunami is caused by the Helena slump falling uh, or the section of Kilauea breaking off, um, or it, sorry, I should say erupting, 
and then the East River Zone falling into the ocean over Helena Slump off Hawaii uh, Big Island, like I've said many times in my videos, causing a massive tsunami like you would throw a big stone in the water and then it causes a ripple across uh, the Pacific and it, it goes right across the west uh, or goes east and then hits the west coast and then it would annihilate California and, and, I, and I'm speculating that and I'm pretty sure it would cause at least a 9.0 plus magnitude earthquake, which is you know the whole east uh, the whole west coast is ready and primed and been just sitting there ready for you know to be moved. Um, a lot of experts are saying that the west coast, the um, uh, you know the where Washington and Oregon are right off the coast there, um, that whole thing is going to go. California is ready to go. Um, it's way overdue, as I'm trying to say. So, and then at the end here, this is crazy, okay? So, remember I said uh, martial law is in there and the 9-11, again, nine, or sorry, nine one one, which is emergency, which is also 9-11. Remember when 9-11 happened, it was nine one one, one just like emergency and everything. And then here this says, these guys at the end, and you hear this, it goes boom, like a bomb sound again as they're doing this, these poses. And immediately I saw, just imagine if there's martial law going on, this guy could be right inside of a military vehicle with a machine gun and his arms are like that, like he's gonna shoot at you. These two guys on either side have their arms up, like don't shoot. And then these guys in the end are like shooting, like guns or you know rifles or something. This is insane. Are you seeing this? This is insane. I cannot believe all the messaging in this. Um, I am blown away. And there's, it's not a coincidence that people have said many times that Walmart is like martial law backwards or it's in there. And, you know, Walmarts uh, have closed down, a lot of them, on the south, um, kind of suspiciously and things and some weird things going on. Um, people are being processed in them, uh, alien, or, you know, illegals are being processed in them, you know, in older Walmarts and stuff to get them ready for what is going to happen with Americans and stuff. You know, I don't know all that stuff and, you know, I haven't subscribed completely to all that, but it's, it's you know, it's becoming more and more plausible and more and more uh, crazy here. So um, this is, this is mind blowing here. So I'm going to go back here for a second. And I just want to hit this message again. So basically, it's 911 martial law, um, One World Trade Center, Second Coming of Christ, United States of America, um, November 11th, stock market crash, that kind of stuff. I mean, are you kidding? Uh, United States of America, 911, stock market crash, um, all this, I mean, and that would happen if we have a big attack like I've I've been saying with these massive tsunamis on both coasts at the on this basically the same moment in two different time zones. So um, I want to leave you with this uh, and hopefully you see those connections and um, it's just more warnings to any of you. And hopefully if you doubt some of this stuff, this is just more evidence on the pile that I've put together, evidence upon evidence upon evidence about these numbers all lining up and, you know, these messages. It's pretty crazy. So um, with that, I'm going to leave it at that. So uh, this is Exalted Lamb 1, over and out.